Hey, you three. First of all, I just wanted to wish you the real best of luck uh, with with getting to uh, the music thing, the the whole national uh, women's music festival thing. Um, because uh, for those who have seen this video and not seen yours or know about you, uh, this is a response to uh, a video by Dweebo, who is uh, trying to raise the money to go to the National Women's Music Festival as a performer. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to wish you best of luck. Uh, you were asking about whether um, Twitter supported pictures, and yes, it does. Uh, there's a site twitpic.com. Um, I don't personally use it myself uh, on the web so I'm not terribly sure how that works. I use it from my phone. I have an iPhone and I have a program called uh, uh, Twitter Fon and it's kind of built in. I'll try and show you. I have a crack on my screen but um, I, if I want to send a picture I just hit, I uh, can't do it this way around. I hit that and then I can either take or choose a photo and, and that all uploads for me. Um, so yes, it it can be done. I, I don't know exactly what you're going to be using to tweet, but um, it uh, you, you you can send pictures on Twitter, and they appear in your Twitter stream as a little link you click. So um, and then that takes you to the TwitPic site, and people can comment and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, I wanted to ask you though because uh, your background obviously is. Um, I mean, I I I I don't see you as a woman. I see you as a man. You're you've transitioned or what trying to transition to become uh physically or externally male. So I find it very curious that you you've chosen to enter the, the women's national um you know, concert thingy and and not not an equivalent for men. And I'm very curious about that and I wanted to hear your thoughts on it and, and where where you perceive um your whole your sexual identity, um, because I'm, I'm curious to know, um, because the, the way my mind thinks about the whole issue of gender variance is, you know, you you are the sex you are, and if your body doesn't match, then it's just a plastic surgery issue. Um, so I I I really don't see you as a woman, I see you as a man. That's that's what you're that's how you perceive yourself as I understand it and that that's how you're trying um to align your life. So uh I was very curious about that. Um one thing I will say I heard you perform. Um I, I folk music isn't really my thing, I know, but I do listen to it and I and, and I, I I did go and see you uh briefly. It was very late for me, um because obviously you're uh in Midwest America somewhere around Indy and uh, for me <laughs> it's sort of really late in the night and, and I, I heard a few songs and fell asleep. I have seen you before obviously in tire sets but um, but um, yeah so uh, one thing I would say uh, I think you're smoking a little more darling. I could hear it in your voice and so I can hear the smoking. Uh, you probably can in mine because <laughs> I'm a smoker as well um, but yes definitely and I think you might want to maybe try and cut down a little bit would be my personal advice because it does show in your singing voice and uh, I don't mean that in a negative way um, but it is something you maybe want to consider and maybe that's the maybe that that's what you're going for the husky thing I don't know um, but yeah I totally agree with what you're saying about creativity it's interesting you ha you actually have the a voice I, I don't think I ever have that if I do it's my own because I'm a narcissist um, but when I write obviously I don't do music um, but I am a poet I do write, and um, yeah, it does just come. It, you know, I I sit there with a, a very simple text editor, and I just put words down that that just come. There's no um, that there's there's no way to really explain it. It just sort of happens. And you write it out, and it's like, yeah, I like that, or no, I don't. I'm going to delete that bit and see what else comes. And, and away it comes. Um, and then occasionally I get, particularly with poems, which uh, often have a rhyming pattern in mind, they're, they're often quite complicated and, and end of lines will rhyme with middle of a line somewhere else and so on. Um, so some, sometimes occasionally I get stuck on a word and then, and then when I think of the word, uh, the whole verse will shape around a new context because of that word I want to rhyme to. Uh, and that, kind of, that just makes it all sort of build itself. Uh, 
yeah, so it, it, it's an it, it's interesting, isn't it, the, the way it creatively works. And you can go through uh, periods where you're just not creative at all. Uh, you can't, you, you just can't drag that out of yourself. Uh, certainly with myself in writing, I'll pick it up and put it down again. And same with, with writing computer programs, because I'm a programmer. Um, I haven't written a computer game now for probably about five years. There's there's no recent computer games by me at all. Nothing using the latest technology or anything, um, which I probably ought to address because you know if I, if I do find myself in a situation I need to look for another job, I'll be going with these really old demo programs. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, technology wasn't as advanced back then. I've learned a lot since. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I ought to do that. But I'm not. I'm just. I just don't feel like writing a computer game lately. It's just I've. I've I don't know, I'm getting more into web stuff. But anyway, I'm going to sign off because I'm babbling. So take care, see you soon, and um, I'll try and come along to another show and hopefully stay awake for all of it. And I'm uh, really sorry I had to leave the last one early to sleep. <laughs> so, um, yeah, take care. Bye.